Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Megan, and I am back with a library book haul predictions revealed video where I'm going to be talking about my last four library books. These are them. They're upside down. Let's turn them right side up. Whoa, almost lost them. These four. Let's jump right into it. The first book I read was Bird Summons by Layla, Layla, yeah, Layla Abdullah, Abdullale. This book. I read this one for the Storygraph Read Around the World Challenge for Sudan. So the author is originally from Sudan. Um, she lives in Scotland now. And I think one of the characters is from Sudan originally. Um, and then moved to Scotland. So this book takes place in Scotland. Um, but I'm still counting it because like it follows three Muslim women. Um, and they're kind of all from like different Middle Eastern countries. But there is one that's from Sudan. The author's uh, from Sudan, so I feel like that counts. Um, anyway, so I predicted I would rate it four stars. I ended up giving it three stars. It was really beautiful, but not for me. The first half was really, really good, and I was really invested in the characters and where they were going. The second half went all, like, um, magical realism, and that's not a genre that works for me. I keep trying as if it might one day work for me. Maybe it will. Maybe there'll be a book out there that'll be like, this is the book you've been waiting for, but this wasn't it. So this takes, so this uh, is about three, uh, three women, three Muslim women. Um, they are basically tired of their day-to-day -day lives uh, and they just want something more out of life. So the three of them decide to take on a trip to go visit this like, um, this Muslim saint who lived in Scotland. Uh, her grave is there, so they, like, made this whole trip, um, to go there. And, I mean, along the way, like, each of them has their own gripes with life, and they, like, they're, like, talking with each other about them, and, like, they kind of get into arguments, but it felt really raw and really real and really, like, like, what, like, friendship looks like, because it's not always rainbows and butterflies, right? It's, like, you really gotta, you get into the nitty-gritty of it, and you're, like, well, no, you gotta give someone, like, kind of, like, tough love, where you're, like, well you understand where they're coming from but you're like what I'm trying to like they're trying to tell them like kind of say it as it is you know so I thought that was really well done and I really liked that part and like they're going on an adventure so it was really really well done and then you that's the first half then you get to the second half and it's like all these like so like one of the characters like is seeing um a, a little boy in representation of her son um and then like the other character she's like out in the wilderness um because she's like, she can't, she wants to stay in, um, I think this is the character whose husband is at, is either in Egypt or Sudan, I can't remember, but he wants her to go back, but she wants to stay in Scotland, um, but, so she's kind of torn, and then you have the other one, she's also seeing things, like, it just took a really weird turn, I mean, it was gorgeous, and it was really well written, but just not for me, so, I mean... I still recommend it though because I think it's still a really well told story and a really good book so uh, I don't yuck anybody's yum on magical realism. The next book I read was Good Talk by Mir Jacob. So this is like a hefty one but it's uh, but I think I had shown it was like a graphic novel. So I rated this one five stars. This one I actually did rate five stars. I thought I was gonna rate it either four or five and I mean I went back and forth a bit with this one. Um, but in the end, I just really liked how, how well it came across because this starts with like her young son asking her questions about the world and about race and about how he fits into the world because he's uh, a biracial child. So he's like, oh, do all, do all people hate brown, brown people? Like it was like, like a lot of these really big life questions. And she's like, how do I answer these questions? And basically this memoir is her trying to navigate answering these questions for her young son who's trying to figure out his way in the world. And it also kind of goes back and reflects on how, like, she was raised um, and the things that she thought of when she was a child and, well, and growing up. So it was just, I thought it was really, really well done. And it was just in a very conversational way. Um, so I, that's why I was like, and there were moments, like, you're not going to relate to every single moment, but there were moments in between where you're just like, ooh, that hit in the feels. And then there were some where, like, it was really funny. Like, she's actually, like, she's a very good um, comedic writer without it being overtly funny, um, where, like, the joke is overkill. 
So I thought that that was also really well done. Um, I thought that the, like, the, um, the, the, the actual, like, drawings and stuff, I thought it was really cool how it was, like, let me see if I can find an example. Like, so there's, like, a photo, and then, like, her comic is underneath, is, like, on top of the photo, so it kind of gives it, like, an, an extra layer of, of where we are. So it's, like, real life, but also a com like, also a comic. I thought that was also really well done. Um, and the fact that she had, like, specific, um, like, so she would draw herself at different ages, so you kind of knew where the story was taking place. So she would use it in, like, different instances throughout the book. I mean, I read a review on Goodreads where someone was like, oh, it's so repetitive. But, I mean, I understood why she did it, because then it's like, she, it, because this book didn't take place in chronological order. So the fact that it was like, oh, this is when she was young, this is when she was in, in university, this is when she was older. You could tell because of what, of the, 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 the image that she had drawn so I thought that was really well done so I really like this it's a really fast read I, ha I also highly recommend this one so that's this one the next book was Love Life and the List by Casey West I rated this three stars so I was kind of contemplating like two stars almost because like these characters were so boring like the two main characters are supposed to be like in love with each other and I felt there was no chemistry there I was like y'all are boring me but what I did like, and why I rated it three stars, was that um, there was a lot of growth for this main character, and I liked that. Um, so the, basically the premise is that our main character, what was your name again? Abby. So Abby is an artist, everyone in her life tells her, oh you're so crazy, you're so amazing, you, you, you paint well, blah blah blah. So she's like, oh I'm going to try out for this art gallery. Um, I mean, she's underage, so that's, like, one of the qualifications, like, so that's why she doesn't get in, but she's like, but my art's so good that I know that my age isn't going to restrict me, and the art gallery guy goes, your art has no heart, and that, like, deflates her so hard, but she needed that. I really think she needed that. She needed to hear that, um, because then she creates this list, and over the summer, she do starts doing all these new things, like, she puts a bunch of stuff, like, on her list, like, kind of like a bucket list but but like just like new adventures and new perspectives and new things to open up her mind and open up her her world more and I really that's what I really liked about this story it was just like she and I mean that works for any age because I mean even when you get older you get so stuck in your ways that it's like explore new things try new things so I thought that was really really well um that was a really good lesson in this one um, I mean, she does it with her best friend who she's like in love with and trying to get over. I mean, I could have taken her leaving that plot. That plot bored me to tears. Um, cause like I said, like her, the best friend that she was in love with, Cooper, was so boring and like there was nothing to him. He was like a cardboard cutout. I was like, cool. Um, there's supposed to be another book. I think there's another two books in this series. So I'm like, I'm kind of curious cause I liked the aspect of growth. But I'm like, I don't know where we're going to go with the characters. But I'm going to pick it up and find out because I'm curious. So that was this book. And the last book on my list was The Woman in the Library by Solgari Gentile. Gentile, this one. Um, and I was like really anticipating this one because like it takes place in a library. Um, also, I read this for my story of Graph Read Around the World Challenge for... For... Oh, uh, what country was this for? I don't remember now. It was for a country. I don't remember right now. But anyways, um, so I read that, read this, I rated four stars, this is like any, un unlike anything I've ever read before, it was like two stories in one, it was the craziest thing, so like, you're introduced to the characters, so they all, everybody's like sitting in the library, in the Boston Public Library, and they hear a scream, and like, obviously like, something's happened, and then they find out, oh, there was a murder, and guess what? One of the people that was sitting at that desk, uh, or at that table, is the murderer. Um, and so you spend the whole novel, like, trying to figure out who done it, basically. And, again, with the characters, they were, like, kind of, like, eh. Like, the author was giving us, like, oh, like, there's gonna be, like, these romantic relationships and these romantic ties between them, but I didn't feel that. Like, the chemistry just wasn't there. Because, like, the one, the, our main character... We're supposed to feel, we're supposed to be like, oh, but she loves this guy. I'm like, I don't feel that. I felt nothing. I'm like, am I dead inside? Like, I didn't feel that. So I'm like, the characters are kind of, eh, to me. Um, 
But then, so at the end of every chapter, there's like this email exchange between the author who's writing these chapters and this guy. And like there's like a like a mid story in there too where it's like he's giving feedback but then you realize that he's giving feedback and there's a reason he's giving feedback. Well, not there's not a reason he's giving feedback, but he's giving feedback and the the author of I guess all of this is using him is using it to 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 like oh, I can't even explain it because I'm like I don't want to ruin it. But it's just it's really good. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it because it's just like if I say too much then you're gonna know and then you're gonna go in knowing it and then I don't want that but just know that it's just like a story within a story and I really liked like so the, the guy that's doing the emailing his name's Leo I actually really liked him as a character because you're supposed to hate him and you hate him a lot like he's like a really good hated character and I was like damn the author wrote this character really well because you want to punch his lights out um so yeah it was, and I mean, it was really, it was really short, it was really fast-paced, um, and I say the main, the main plot with the whole murder mystery was kind of like, whatever, but I'm like, the secondary murder mystery was also, was like, oh, but that's what I really liked, I liked that more, but I don't want to say too much, so that's this, please read it, <laughs> um, but yes, those were my last four library books, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold this with my hand, because... Ugh, my hand doesn't stretch that far. But these are my last four library books. Um, if you've read any of them, let me know in the comments below. But that is all I have for you guys today. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, a do your thing. And I'll see you all in my next video. So thanks, and bye, guys.